Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Mule Barn. Uh, I am Dave. I will be sort of your host tonight, maybe, possibly. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, back with us again tonight. We'll go around. We got Chad Snyder down here. How you doing, Chad? I'm good. I, I just have to say, you have like a fascinating, like, demeanor to your voice when you start. It sounds like you're an NPR host. You're just the Hello, everybody. Tonight, I will be your host. My I, I, work, call, I, I work on that. I work on that. At I'm night. at one nine hundred seven seven six. This is a very calming yeah, demeanor. I appreciate yeah, I, it. I, I try. I, <laughs> I practice hard for this. I get a little nervous. It's like stand up speeches you do in like elementary school. <laughs> so also, we got Josh back with us tonight. Josh, how are you doing today? I'm doing Tonight, good, boys and girls. I got a new mic. Hopefully, I'm not blaring everybody's ears off right now. Uh, it's it's down pretty low, so that's we'll perfect. give it we'll give it time. Uh, <laughs> just let let it all go and me start laughing my ass <laughs> off. And, and just <laughs> just just hit the red button. I have the same mic. <laughs> Where's the uh, fun of that? I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, yeah. Just turn. We'll turn your volume down. Just turn me down. <laughs> we got hillbilly down here. How you doing today, hillbilly? Hey, Dave. Doing pretty good. Uh, Ready to get another one of these under our belt here and um, let the folks at home enjoy what we have to uh, banter about. Uh, we know it'll go off and sidetrack somewhere. Juggles will be distracted again. Hi. So, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of Juggles, he made it. He was running late tonight. Hello. So maybe you can fill us in on why you were running a little late, Juggles. So, my job. Cool story, bro. <laughs> real particular. <laughs> it's real. Thanks for clearing that up. It's, it's real particular about some dumb things. So, when I originally I said keys, it was a gas card, not a key, not keys. I've been written up twice for taking the gas cards home. <laughs> uh, mind you, That's I've why. never lost one. I wasn't the reason for the last meeting, and I've never used the card outside of work without asking. Yeah. How much fuel can you put Uh, in the house? But the Hyundai's got a full tank right now. No, I got 25 (laughs) miles to empty, and I need to get gas. So (laughs) you can leave me alone. So that's why when this whole thing came up, I decided, oh, hey, gas card, I need to go back to work. So wait, you you said you weren't the reason for the last meeting. Yeah, there was a meeting meeting prior to that. I haven't lost a gas card ever. I haven't been a reason for any meetings. I'm just, I'm just trying to cover our bases. We also <laughs> we'll said that I was a driver, he's not to use the card after hours without permission. Yeah, yeah. You filled your own card up, car up with the card with permission. Yeah, I just asked the manager, like, "Hey, I don't know if I'm going to make it to work. Can I put gas in my tank?" He's like, "Sure." Okay. Fair enough. I was just Actually, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, Dave, I see Johnny's beard showed up. Yeah. Once hey, we we did find out as much as we made fun of him in the last one, his because he's on his phone, it does turn it sideways and it shows full Johnny. So even though we only see, uh, okay, this much Johnny. I mean, we don't feel bad enough to apologize. We just wanted everybody to know what was going no, on. No, we're not apologizing. Yeah. I okay, it know. doesn't turn it sideways, jackass. Well, I did earlier, so I, I, I mean. <laughs> so, All right, you, I mean, you can go back the other way, Johnny. Yeah. Spe- yeah. Yeah, there you go. Speaking of Johnny May, Uh-oh. how are you doing tonight, Johnny? All right, how you doing? You, you look good. good. Man of many words, beard, Johnny May. Beard looks groomed. It looks good. Professional. You want some yeah. of my beard wash? Let's say, like, I, I, I said that before. Like, Johnny, out of all of us here. Ah, Juggles wasn't here though before. I don't know. Juggles is not quite as there, shaped. some beard envy in the Johnny, room. John, Johnny is killing the beard game. I gotta say, like he, he's. I mean, he is. It, it's Juggles, Juggles is, is Juggles is kind of out of control. Johnny's is yeah, contained. It, I think it's and, a toss up here between. We'll have to have a vote. Juggles has like a beard afro. Oh, like he's going through with the comb. If you if yeah. you guys look, we we almost have like every Juggles has a bathrobe. Yeah. You can you have in a beard. Yeah, I mean, we got me really, and Chad with the really shitty, barely coming in beards. Hey, speak for yourself. Yours is in I like my beard the way it is. is much better than mine, bud. <laughs> mine at least covers my fit, my whole face, and not just my chin. Oh. Mind you, I only do it so I don't show like my third chin down there. That's the only reason I. Well, you, when you tell people about it, that negates that. Yeah, I mean, now we know yeah, it's there. Everyone now. knows. I mean, 
<laughs> my, my flavor he's got the trim sides, and then he's got the long, the long. What is that Billy Goat? I mean, kinda. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like a Billy Goat. I think the beard. That's is bad. Toss up, toss up between, <laughs> between him and Johnny. Somebody to do it. Yeah. So. I miss my goatee. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, won't do that again. At least, if you dyed it, you know, like brown, you wouldn't. Yeah. As old as you feel, <laughs> I'm only like uh, the thing. He was not the 15. oldest one on the trip, right? I mean, well, I'm, I'm starting to get. I'm starting to get the grades, yeah. but that's just because of my kid. So, <laughs> well, I don't know what my excuse is. My mother, uh, earlier this week, I was over there for my birthday, and she pointed out that I was having a couple gray hairs I, this, around this my chin. This was jet black like, two years ago before I started racing with you, fuckers. Oh, that's a bullshit yeah. lie. Oh, so you stress oh, yourself no. out that much. Before racing with Johnny, that's what you should say. He doesn't even race. Well, that, <laughs> that is a good point. Okay, racing with Juggles. Hey, now. wait a minute. I've been doing that for 12 years. Come on now. <laughs> were his taglines, uh, were his taglines the fun. same on Forza? With what? Oh, oh, fuck, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, yeah. oh, fuck. <laughs> that's wall. Ah, oh, 100%. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, 100%. Ah, ah. <laughs> he had this fucking yeah. GT40 and Forza that would haul the living fuck out of a straight, but would not turn. He started driving, he'd go, ah, ah, brakes, brakes, oh, brakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah let, let's be, so, you have to get to the brakes before you can turn, and it wouldn't break. So here, here like, we are once again. Like we, we've, driving. We've, brought up, we've brought up the topic uh, without even thinking about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is true. I mean, video games we come up on, right? We're darts without yeah. feathers, people. Just so you guys know, yeah, we don't we know are. where we're going. I we think the same. May not announce what topics we're going to. We're just gonna. Yeah, let's just yeah, shut up and it. let Dave go through it. How about that? <laughs> like, like you said, like we said last week, if any whoever's listening, if you're looking for like a straight, you know, on a straight <laughs> path, you know, you know exactly what's going to happen. Lead you on the straight and narrow. You will not. Not, not here. Go, so not here at all. Else, so. Um, yeah, we will go off on a tangent in a, in a hurry. Huh? So, but uh, once again, thank you guys for coming back. I think I think we gotta drag a special guest in here one night. Let them join in the fun. Too. Douglas. Oh, oh Douglas, Douglas is definitely be, gonna be on here. Yes, Douglas. Douglas for uh, sure. Most definitely, we may have to sweep out a lot of things he says yeah. because his language and ours doesn't quite match. Oh no, he'll be fine because he cusses in British. So <laughs> that, that's what makes it worse. Like okay. over here, well, over here, like I mean, no, I'm not impugning the intelligence of our listeners or viewers, but you, you, you just don't always know. Mm, true. So, so I don't know. We're gonna we'll we'll have uh we'll have to get uh, Velma Lorfano on here one time as well. I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> I don't want no. I don't think that'll happen, dude. Well, I'll just call her. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, he says that we have to go through him. Like, just uh, Velma, we, we need you to come on tonight. Just go text her the link. Be like, get on, get on a computer with a with a camera and just just click who this link. Host, who will be hosting that night? Because I will probably not. <laughs> She'll be hosting. Oh Screw no, it. we're not gonna <laughs> tell you, Dave. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna tell uh, you. She's just pop in the room. She'll, no, she'll Ooh. cut a deal. You know, if she does the the podcast, I'll be no. As hey, as long as she doesn't come come on come in the room from one of our cameras, you're in good shape, bro. <laughs> True. True. It's not an inaccurate statement. That's you gotta true. look at the positive side of it. <laughs> so, I think I want to do things a little different tonight. I'm gonna add something Uh-oh. here. So, uh, oh boy, I think he's throwing a curveball. Yeah, he has what, a surprise what I, for what us I'll guys. Do is, uh, I'm gonna. Throughout the show, I'm going to hand down some random points. Oh, right. okay. Completely, completely random points. There's no arbitrary rhyme. Arbitrary these. points. <laughs> yeah, yes. Glad this is multiples of five, so they're easy ever. to. Uh, can, I mean, can you make them in multiples of five so they're easy to keep track of? I mean, I was thinking twos. But... What was well, the show with Drew you don't Carey? Have to keep track of where he goes, the points, the points are made up, and where the rules are made up, and the points don't matter. It's no matter. But the, the stories are real. <laughs> So I think the the person at the end of the show with the most points will be named, you know, number one jackass for the evening. They got a host well, next week. The weekly know, jackass. We're kind of stealing that from another one, but I mean, that if way we wanted to do, do that, it every wait, week. wait, wait, would that kind of be like pinning the tail on the donkey? <laughs> yeah. Gosh, donkey, donkey, where's the noise? Come on. 
No. Nope. Come on, man. You're supposed to be. Nope. Nope. Somebody says donkey. You're supposed to do it. No. Nope. You guys and, and, of me. You and, said and, that it wasn't what you wanted, so we're moving past it. It was pretty mm-hmm. sad, but we don't have the sound effects yeah. uploaded yet. That sucks. Somebody else try it. So donkey juggles. No. <laughs> no. 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 Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll get into it then. I think tonight let's uh let's talk about. You know, gaming and how we, where we started, each of us, where we started, um, how it started. And I think to kick it off, maybe we'll talk to the Hillbilly. He's probably played on some consoles that we've never heard of. Oh, I can guarantee it. We're starting with me. All right, well, shit. Yeah. My first, my, my first <laughs> That's game. That's how console. that works. <laughs> that is a hot point right, right there. All right, all right. That, 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 is, that is 100 I, I, points for Hillbilly. I, I, we're going to start, start with Hillbilly at the end. Wait. I, I, don't, I don't go too <laughs> far back. I mean, oh, shit. there was something we used to play on with the green screen, but no, I mean, there was ColecoVision was probably my first console. Um, it was I'm sorry, cool. what? ColecoVision? <laughs> I is that, that a thing? Dog shit. Yeah, it, it was it was some pretty but it was some pretty awesome dog shit for its time though so um it was the white I, dog shit that they had and then i kind of i kind of moved on to atari <laughs> and i did the the sega genesis that one I've heard of. uh the that one. nintendo uh playstation one and then you know i playstation two once i got a playstation it was kind of like the rest of them sucked anyway so i messed with it i got an xbox and then got rid of it i'm not a fanboy of that one at all i'm kind of a playstation fanboy but um Made it up to PlayStation 4, and uh, then I, I, I refused to get into PC gaming at all. And then iRacing came along, came into my life. I say came along, it was a long, long time before I got involved, but kind of came into my life, and it was time to get a PC capable of running that. And then from there, I slowly but surely started picking up PC games through Steam and um, uh, getting into community, uh, communities. Now I, I like, uh, I love my racing games. I love my first person shooters. And um, horror games seems to be a, a big thrill of mine with the, a lot of you guys. To it's just good, good fun because you get the shit scared out of you, and uh, you get to watch other people get the shit scared out of them. Sometimes you just juggles. Shit, scare the shit out of each other in tunnels that weren't supposed to. Be <laughs> so, or you do three sixties. Um, yeah. we'll have to we'll have to link a clip. That, that, no, we're talk- We'll put the clip in and post or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's kind of that's kind of my my sum. I mean, I, I can pull it up, pull the clip up while you rest. Of you guys are talking. We can show it at the end if you want on YouTube. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's kind of my my yeah. summed up version of my gaming experience. Oh, my first racing game was pole position. Oh, Atari wasn't it? Was yep. that an Atari? Yeah, yeah, it was an Atari game. Yep. It's the first one I can remember anyway. So yeah. Um, Excite Bike was also a fun one that I used to play back in the day. Oh yeah, Excite Bike was awesome. But uh, anyway, that's my story. No, yeah, there was no stone. Uh, there was no stones and chisels involved at all. No. In, in <laughs> you my, beat me to it, damn it! <laughs> I was waiting my turn. <laughs> what was the first one? Though? What was it? Clinko Vision. Calico, Calico Vision. I'm going to have to Google that shit now. Yeah, pull, I pull it up on screen. You can share your screen with everybody at home. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's go to... Make sure you hide Pornhub first. <laughs> right. <laughs> Only fans. Me, 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 me. Let's go to Josh. Josh, oh. how did you get started in gaming? Uh, First console was a Nintendo 64. Boo. Privilege. Uh, ended up, yeah, apparently. No, it didn't come with Donkey Kong. Uh, it Came up the pack with uh, NASCAR 98 and Banjo-Kazooie. Hell yeah. Hmm. Still never beat Banjo-Kazooie to this day. It <laughs> kicked the hell out of me. I gave up on it. I love the NASCAR 98. Um, there, took forever. I didn't get anything until PlayStation 2. Uh, from there, Xbox 360, which kind of leads to how me and the Hispanic Titanic met. Which was Forza. Hi. <laughs> um, there, that probably was the most amount of time that I spent on a game was the racing games. Forza, Forza Four with him. Hours upon hours of racing. Um, I kind of disappeared for a little bit between college and you know the party scene or everything that I was doing, not 
gaming too much and got married and decided, okay, it's time to get back into it. Got an Xbox One, messaged him. He goes, oh, yeah, I'm playing NASCAR Heat 4 with, or 3, whatever it was. I think 3 with Adam, another one of our guys from the league. Shout, and, shout out Adam Ang- Angerstein. Adam Angerstein, yep. And uh, from there, we got doing that again. And he's like, you know, you need to try this iRacing thing. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Josh. I don't mean to interrupt you, but it looks like, I mean, Hillbilly's doing Tai Chi or something in front of his camera. <laughs> He's throwing up the nine. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Nine. Number nine. Like he was like, I was trying to get my hands right where you could see it. Like, Number nine for Adam Magerstein, but no. no, I always tried to get me into iRacing and finally got, I had to use my work laptop. It was the only thing that would run it. So I was running off the laptop at first. Um, that's how I got to where I'm at, but basis I did COD, the Call of Duty stuff for a while in there too, but racing stuff's always been number one on my list, and I love doing the golf games. Me, Hillbilly, and Dave played the other night, they both got pissed off at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get I pissed off at you, one. I get pissed off at my swing. No. Oh, yeah, well, yeah because anytime there's sand or water, we know you're going in one of them. Fact. Yeah, that was true. Yeah, I, I won't go in the sand or water until it's like late in the game, and I'm like ahead by one stroke. The pressure's on, and you fucking. Yeah, oh yeah. I'll, no, I did good like the first five holes, and then it was after that it was just all straight downhill. Yeah, but yeah, I don't, I don't get mad at Josh either. I just I get mad at my ball for not going where the fuck I want it to go. That's right. <laughs> you know, so every he, every time a hole comes up and it's got water, you just hear him like fuck. Yep. Oh, fuck. He that's hasn't even swung yet. <laughs> I just don't want want you guys to not play it because I need and something. Then he, well, okay. the funny part is the other night he tried to overcorrect so he wouldn't go to the water. He put it right in the fucking bunker. I I, I, I googled it. Look, I googled the swing, figured it out. <laughs> I know what I know. <laughs> Yes. No. No. I couldn't figure out the timing. So it's, it has nothing to do with the backswing in that game at all. Nothing. How do I you swing? Can, you can pull it all the way back. Golf club. <laughs> You can pull it all the way back and hold it as long as you want to and get your swing forward. It has nothing to do with the backswing. Like I said, I barely I just It has to do the timing has to do with how fast you flick the stick forward. Forward, yes. Mm-hmm. See, I didn't know that. I thought yeah. it was back and then forward had to kind of be like a sweeping motion, but it's just... anytime I've tried to hold it back and then and then like focus on my time and go for it, it just messes me up worse. It, it probably does, yes, but it, the point is I don't have to focus on that backswing now. I've just got get to the new game sure and it'll nice. completely take I everything that you thought that you learned the and new fuck game. it up. I just got the old game. I couldn't hear a word because y'all were talking over each other. I said, get the new one and everything you thought you knew from the PGA, what was it, 2K21? Mm-hmm. The, the right? EA Road to the Masters. Everything's out the window. Nowhere near the same. That's not attractive at all. I love it. If that's a selling point. Well, play it by yourself then. That. Yeah. I am. No sounds like you're going to like you're gonna continue to play it oh. by yourself, too. Moving on. Just... <laughs> all right, so we're going to move. Let's go to Johnny. Johnny. Oh, Looking, all, looking all handsome up there. So I started How did you get into gaming, Johnny? PlayStation 2. From there, I went to an Xbox. Went to... An Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, and then I went to uh, iRacing. That's about it. You can tell he's the youngest because he started with the PlayStation 2. Well, yeah. is he truly the youngest? We... I started um, with a. It's between him and Juggles. A, a Nintendo 64. But. Okay, you were leaving that one out, huh? Yeah. Let's figure this what let's figure this out. Johnny, when is your birthday? July. Of what year? Ninety <laughs> two? Yeah. Juggles? What? When's your birthday? <laughs> year? Uh ninety three. January January thirty first. Oh, oh Juggles, Juggles is the youngest, is the youngest, is the youngest Okay. Wow. Well, I graduated high school in ninety five. I am not the youngest. <laughs> I am the Patrick, middle. That's, that's the last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. That's it. It's like the only fact you have about when you. It's because I was born during the Super Bowl. What the fuck? What other oh, fact do I have? Yes. I did not realize that. 
It was either during or right before the Super Bowl I was born when they beat the Buffalo Bills. Dear so it's hackers. Your, so it's your you fault. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I is mean, your sure. birthday? Don't dox yourself too much with the full birthday there, pal. <laughs> I, I doubt we're important enough for anybody to come. They, they know his like... name is Jungles <laughs> and his full birth date, and that he's, that he's the Mexican American from San Antonio who works. Yeah, his name. Look, I mean, it's over with. All right, to our audience, like his name, his real name isn't Juggles; it's actually Diamond. I thought that was his stage name. That, that's well, it's, his, no, that's he uses his real name on stage. I believe. Stage name. His, oh, his OnlyFans ID on stage. I got you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, Chad, how did you get into gaming? I so I inadvertently started, I guess, on PC. I mean, way back in the day. I'm talking DOS system PC. With I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge. If you haven't heard of it, Google it. Heard of it. Awesome game for for its time. Um, I do remember that it wasn't that much fun for me to play because the, uh, literally the computer I had didn't have a speaker, so it like it had the, I don't know the term the technical term of it, but it wasn't like a, a stereo speaker. It just it just made like ticks. It just made like ticks and and buzzes and stuff like that, like computer noises. And so all the sound from the game came from that. It sounded God awful, but, um, that I do, I still like, I would play for hours on that thing. Um, got away from that for a little bit. And, um, you know, my, I I have an older brother. He and I went through the, you know, the usual path, the regular Nintendo where you had, that's what taught me how to play harmonica. And, um, uh, went from that (laughs) to a a super Nintendo. (laughs) Chuckles, have you ever had a regular Nintendo? No. Has anybody here had a regular regular Nintendo yeah, back? Yes, you used to blow. You get, you get a blow, the... blow stomps. Fold oh, yeah, the sixty four. <laughs> yeah. I used yeah. I used to actually lick the strip inside. Yep, get the dust and off you, of it. Blow on and it. after a while, you yeah. literally had to wedge shit in it because the regular Nintendo, yes. you put the cartridge push in it, you pushed it down. But after a while, that catch would break, and it yeah. would it would not stay down. Yeah. So I literally had butter knives and shit like yeah. stuck up in there. I don't know how I didn't electrocute myself, but um. Yeah, went from that, and then the um, first system I had for myself was a, a Sega Genesis, a 16-bit. And um, I used to play Road Rash on that thing. I don't know if you guys remember Road Rash, where you're on the motorcycle, you have to run from the cops, and you take like yep. either chains or a club and beat the shit out of everybody who's around you. Um, mm-hmm. and, so um, GTA before GTA. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> sort of, yeah, just without ever getting off the bike. Um, and uh, from that... Went to um, the first like big time console I had was actually the original Xbox, which I did enjoy. Um, I played a lot of games on that, but um, I uh, stayed at a friend's house one time who had a PS2, and I played God of War, which these guys and these guys all know how I feel about God of War. It's my yeah. favorite game franchise of all time, and will remain to be so. So I got hit on that immediately, and I was like, all right, it's PlayStation or die for me from here on out. Since then, I had a PS2, a PS3, a PS4, and now I'm on my second PS5. So, um, what the fuck? yeah, uh, well, there's a story behind that. <laughs> but um, This is a podcast. Yep, and after that, <laughs> you know, uh, with the, outside of the console thing, I got back into PC with iRacing itself um, back when the world ended in 2020. Um, I was like, okay, I need something to do while I'm at home. You know, first stimulus check was coming up, so I was like, mm, I think I can build an iRacing rig out of this check, which the, I didn't even come close, but I still put more money into it. Um, and found these assholes uh, from a Facebook message and then um, got more into the PC games uh, last year when I, um, if you guys listened to the first episode, you heard me mention some, uh, a foot injury I had last year. Uh, since I couldn't race, because of my foot injury, I kind of reached out to Juggles and was like, hey, I've been watching horror game streams and they're fucking hilarious. Like, nice. and and I kept sending him clips and he's like, fuck yeah, let's do this. <laughs> like, And then uh, we, we jumped on after a race one night to play um, a, a game we play a lot called Devour. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, fuck Anna. And <laughs> Josh doesn't like Devour. And Dave. <laughs> fuck Anna. Uh, like I, what I really wasn't expecting is that uh, Dave jumps on and he's like, "Oh, stream it! I'll I'll watch." And like he immediately like jumped in with both feet, and then brought Hillbilly with him promptly. Uh, Johnny has yet to play a horror game with us. He just likes to watch us soil ourselves now, as we play them. 
he did play uh, the forest. You know, you're right. You're right. We played the forest for a while with um, with another buddy of ours, J Hub, Jim Hubble. Shout out. Um, and uh, fifty one. Oh. Um, but uh, yeah. So uh, J Hub uh, jumped in and played that with us. J Hub's a big gamer too. We'll have to have him on here too. <laughs> Dave, Dave, you good? I'm just counting. I have <laughs> Dave's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey man, it'll take me a while to I, get to fifty-one. <laughs> as I fucking whack, as I whack my mic and probably just destroyed everyone's eardrums. Out. Yeah, but like I got, I got uh, like for my it's truly out of my boredom because while my foot was broken, I couldn't work until I got my the job I have now, and I so I got to watching a lot of streamers and stuff like that. They were doing horror games and. Just uh, kept sending these guys, kept bothering the shit out of these guys, sending them new games that I wanted to play, and I still do that. Um, and uh, it's turned into some hilarious streams that Dave has on his channel now. Um, most recently, uh, of Juggles and Dave and myself and uh, another friend of ours, Christian. Shout out, Christian. Um, you want to go ahead and shout out the uh, or plug the stream names so that uh, people know how to go watch this guy? Yeah, so you can um, you can find our streams i say our streams but it's really okay david um juggles girlfriend yeah. just took the shout out quite literally um <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, um you can see you can see our streams <laughs> uh, it's usually the stream being streamed by dave who is d lorfano on twitch which is d l o r f a n o for those of you who don't know how to spell some links to yeah, we'll it, we'll put some we'll put some graphics up with some with the Twitch name. So uh, hillbilly is hillbilly underscore stomp also on Twitch. Uh, we, they they both usually uh, stream all of our content on there. I'm going to end up streaming more at one point. Right now, my PC is not in a position to handle that. Um, Juggles uh, will occasionally stream as well. He is Juggles eighty eight on Twitch. Is that correct? He doesn't know. I think so. I can look really quick. This man has to check his own Twitch handle. Oh, I don't I use also it often did... enough for that to matter. Also, I don't stream enough created, either. I uh, have one. I didn't even know Juggles had one, one, to be honest. But yeah, our streams go up on Twitch. Um, the, your best bet is probably Hillbilly or Dave at this point until the rest of us kind of catch up. But um, yeah, it's uh, there's definitely some hilarity that ensues. Like I don't think any of us actually enjoy the horror games as much as we just enjoy listening to everybody else around us getting the shit scared out of us. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So and I did just create uh the YouTube page, the the Mule Barn on YouTube. Uh, yeah. I've got a few clips up already. Yep. Are you gonna are you gonna put them in on like a, a clip folder? Yeah we'll uh yeah. we'll do yeah. uh I'll try to get some links up. Yeah we'll link them in the description. Yeah. If I can waited my whole up. life to say that sentence. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a real I feel like a real content creator now. <laughs> Content. So Chad, so Chad was got into iRacing 2020. Yep. And so uh, Juggles, when did how did you get into gaming and all this fun, happy, or horrible stuff? <laughs> so the earliest racing game that I can remember would be between Jet Moto and NASCAR 2000. And when I and the the first console that I personally had was a PlayStation One, an original PlayStation. Just had yeah, one of those. The and not the weird little round one, the fucking gray one, the, the old rectangle. school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it was great. I loved it growing up having that, and and the the extent of like NASCAR related things. I got woken up at like eleven o'clock at night by my dad to play NASCAR two thousand. He's like, let's play the game, let's go. I was like, All right, cool. So <laughs> I was up dad for the yeah, I was up for yeah. like three hours on NASCAR 2000 with my dad, just playing it. We were it was entertaining at the time. I've had access though <clears throat> to just about every console around that time period because a friend of mine down the street had a 64, another friend of mine down the street and on the other side of the street had a Sega Genesis. Yeah, and then I think at the time those were the three major consoles. My next console after that was an Xbox, original uh, the the first generation Xbox. And then I had a 360, and in between that, we randomly purchased a PS2. 
I purchased my Xbox One, and since then, I've come into possession of another PlayStation, another PS2, an N64, a Nintendo Switch, a Nintendo DS, a Nintendo 2DS, three PSPs, I have my computer, which is sitting over here, and I've played, like, an Atari 2600, because my dad has all of those old consoles, like the Atari, I want to say the 2600 and... There was another older one that I don't remember the name of. It had like a big keyboard. I don't know. Playing some of those older classic games are fun. Even on like the old like Atari systems. They were just entertaining to play. My grandfather has the smaller Atari that had like wizards or something. Wizards or something. It's like you're flying on a flamingo fighting things. So you know those are the type of consoles that you put the cartridge down the top of? And then you take yeah. the top of your hand with your fist and you pound the top of it. <laughs> yeah, until it finally works. Yeah. He had there was a console way back I say way back that's much older than I am that took big ass floppy disks. Mm. I don't remember what it was. I think that was that a computer. Was, no, was no, no, no. <laughs> this was it was like an it was an Atari branded or some type of Atari brand. It took me like remember laser disc big DVD fucking DVD before D V D. He's talking about the original floppy disk, uh, not the little like one the that, that oh. that's now the yeah. not the little one that's now the picture of every save button on every computer program. I'm talking about the big disks that are actually were floppy, like yeah. you can sit there and wave them like a piece like a piece of plastic, mm-hmm. like back like I Oregon been, like Oregon Trail shit. Yeah, I've also been reminded I have a Nintendo Wii, and if you look it up. It's called a Pandora 9. It's like a self-contained arcade machine that you connect to your TV. Sounds That's the like one with the keyboard you were talking about? <laughs> huh? That's the one with the keyboard you were talking about? No, no, no. That one has two, like, arcade sticks on it. It's like, it's yeah, like an arcade yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, think, I think I've seen that one. I think I know what you mean. Ju- Juggles, do you have um, any of these old, older consoles still? You still have them? I don't have them. They're with my dad. I was going to say, because like... there's, there's some money in old consoles now. Oh, yeah. I still have my 64. I mean, there's Richmond no, trip type money. I still have it. Oh, yeah, no. Growing up, I never had a 64. <laughs> I had the PlayStation. Richmond, <laughs> Richmond money. Um, I still have my original uh, Sega Genesis that I mentioned. I still have that. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Hey, do you guys I want know, me to sh- share a quick... I'll oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I know as far as PC-related stuff, I ended up building my first computer 2015, 2016. It was budget as budget could be for like $500. And that got me into iRacing. And I've just kind of been stuck in iRacing ever since. But I also like to try other sim racing titles. So I, racing is the thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, you can probably say that for all of us. I, I think racing is pretty close to the top for every one of us, even though we, we do. Some of us, you know, more lately than others would like, like to dabble a little more in the and the other genres like like the horror games and sports games and like Hillbilly said, first person shooters, which I am fucking terrible at. So you'll almost never catch me playing a shooter. But um, yeah, man, I'm 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 big on the horror games and the RPGs, like like I said, like God of War and uh, things like that. So yeah, the only type of games that I hate are those super grindy. You have to do the same task seventy five thousand times to accomplish the goal oh, type yeah. of games. Other than that. I'll play just about anything. I, I've never really been into Final Fantasy, though. If, if that ever gets thought of, it's just not a game I've felt like worrying about. Well, you, who, 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 if, Go ahead, LA. Did, did any of you guys ever play uh, uh, World of Warcraft? <sighs> never got into people it. Did. No. And never could get either. Crazy. I mean, I know a lot of people get oh. addicted to it and would never leave the house, quit their jobs, all kinds of crazy shit playing it. So, yeah, it. it Tends to take people over, but no, I've, I've had I've had some Leroy Jenkins moments in horror games that we've played yeah, together, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I've never played World of Warcraft. No, I never. Me, uh, I've, I've played World of Warcraft. I got into RuneScape. The I've heard of that, but I've never seen it. Offshoot of the game. It's the best way I can describe it is just like a budget, cheap version of World of Warcraft. It's, it's essentially it's roughly the same thing, but different. Levels of quality and cheaper to kind of get into, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to pay the, the premium of World of Warcraft membership. It's, it was like a $5 right. membership. All right, David. What, what were you 
gonna show. Well, no, I, I've got I've got a quick clip if we want to go ahead and try it see if it works. Of one of our horror yeah. games. Uh, this game is um, it's pretty Actually, scary. Hold on to that, hey Billy. Hold on. Yeah. To that. Oh yeah, sure. We'll, we'll come back to that. In okay. A minute. Uh, so I guess uh, I'll I'll finish this one off here. Yeah. I started. Oh, I thought you seen. I I think I started with a Nintendo. To be honest, back. The original That's Nintendo, I with, but I I do remember, yeah. Super Nintendo or no, just the regular whatever it was. Was there a Super Nintendo? Nintendo? Wasn't Super there... Nintendo first, and there was like a Nintendo, and then the sixty four. No, no, Nintendo, Nintendo, was, Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo was the first one. Super Nintendo, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, and then, then it was sixty four. Yeah. yeah, but I I do remember when we got our first PC at home. It was you know probably in the early mid nineties, maybe. Same here. I don't know how I was maybe ten, eleven years old. Um, it was a gateway computer. Um, and we had the dial-up internet. If anyone yep. the dial-up. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So it would, AOL Instant Messenger. Yeah, and anytime oh, you get well, on the internet, mail. <laughs> don't make a phone anytime call. You, anytime you get on the internet, no one could use the phone. Mm-hmm. It would disconnect you. Mom, so, get off the phone! Um, yeah, but I, I remember on the PC, there was a game called, was it Spelling Jungle? It was like a little... you. Spelled oh, words, but you had to go through a little forest to find. Not sting in educational was, games here. Yeah, it was. That's hey, I used to play Jumpstart games growing up. You leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. they, they didn't that help was, me at all, but that was, that was my. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay any attention to them. <laughs> yeah, that was. They didn't do shit, but they were fun. To, that was my first introduction to, you know, PC. But oh, then after that, it, it was kind of went to you know the N sixty four. Uh, Sega Genesis. Um, I think the Sega Genesis, it was a golf game on there that I liked to play too. It was like, maybe it was, I don't remember what it was, but I spent hours. Yeah, I played, spent hours doing that. And then uh, never really got into the PlayStations much. I think I, first PlayStation I had was probably PS3. And then I had a PS4. Never really cared for PlayStation. And I went to Xbox, and that's when I got into, first time getting into, like, online um, co-op type stuff. I played GTA, and that was that was recent. That was probably back in 2016, 17, when I started doing that. Up until then, I just always played by myself, you know, whatever. So, never got into the online. So, I did GTA 5 for a while. Um, and then, yeah, around 2019, I... You know, I've been around racing my whole life, and all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm gonna try this iRacing racing thing. And uh, went out, bought you know a three hundred dollar PC, uh, played it on my TV. My first thing, I sat on the edge of my bed, had my wheel clamped to a TV tray with yep. pedals on the floor that wouldn't stay put where I wanted them. So, and I I remember going in there, I won like five or six legends legends races. You know, with that setup, it was a uh, Thrustmaster T80. Or whatever it was, it just had like an elastic band. There was no force feedback or nothing. So, um, and then figure out how to put it up. We should all put up one of these times what our initial rig looked like if we have it. I could I'm sitting in my initial rig, so <laughs> yeah, that's when I got into the PC thing, i racing, and then you know, all this stuff just led to you know, like you said, doing the horror games. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, love streaming that stuff. By myself sometimes. Just well, because all right, so uh, Dave, I gotta interrupt you. You say you love it, you love streaming <laughs> horror games. Yet the title to every single stream that you put up is <laughs> oh, I, "I don't like I this." I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like it. I, I like the rush of it. Like it's. I, I sometimes it's weird. I like being scared like that. It just it's a the thrill. I guess is more than anything. But yeah, I don't. Like, I don't like it necessarily. I've, I've had people ask me, be like, man, you know, why do you enjoy horror games? Like, it seems terrible. And I'm like, it's not even the horror factor or the game itself. It's honestly just the reactions yeah. of yeah. us, like, going through the game and shit like that are just, yeah. like, the impending yeah. doom and everything like that. Like, I laugh well, at myself, yeah. like, so, through Side of Silence where I'm going through it. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. I like, I like it after it scares me. Mm-hmm. It's that anticipation that really, yeah. really gets under my skin, though. Gets to be worked yeah, and, up, and then this I mean, jump scare happens, and then you're like mm-hmm. relieved a bit, you know, because you're dead. I mean, I will tell you right, out there waiting to get killed. I will tell you right now when we played Devour the other night. That one was pretty. Oh my god, that was. So, I had to. I literally had to catch my breath when we were done. The, the video like, clip I have for that one's called "Don't Ever Do That Again." So, mm-hmm. um, so I mean, 
Yeah, that if you want to, you can play that now, Hillbilly, if you want. That this is a game called Devour. Uh, Devour. Devour. Uh, All right, we're gonna see. I've never, we've cookies. never done this before, but we're gonna give it a shot. Here. Well, that I'm in this clip. I'm in this clip, but I'm kind of not in this clip because <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> I'm already dead and just waiting for these guys to revive me in there. Gonna work. Let's see if see it if comes up here. Please be patient. Thank you. Oh, please. Ah, oh, there yeah, right. All right, gonna press play and let's see what happens. I, I don't know if you guys will have audio or not, but let's hope from so. my angle or yours. This is yours. This is the one okay. you uploaded. This is my angle of what happened. I don't know if there's any audio though. I hope so. There's not. There's no audio. Ah. Oh, y'all no, can hear the I'm audio because no. I can hear it. There's no audio here. Uh, well, uh, I'll I'll post a link to some yeah. of these. Uh, what you guys didn't yeah, hear, YouTube page. What you guys didn't hear is that Dave was going into the vent to escape certain death, and got the bejesus scared out of him. Look, you see the little white uh, outline in the distance. That was me dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and Dave got literally got the bejesus scared out of him when he turned the corner and there was hillbilly right in his face. And <laughs> it was the it was the largest scare either one of them had that entire level that night. So yeah. It was brutal. So that that kind of leads into the next one here. Um, what is the your everyone's favorite genre to play like right now? What what do you enjoy playing the most? What type of games? We'll start with Josh. <laughs> golf. I think I got touched on it right now. Yeah, the golf <laughs> and napping. Just golf or sports games in general. Nah, just golf. I don't like the Maddens or anything. I want to try the MLB, uh, the show. <clears throat> MLB, yeah, the show's not bad. I just of, haven't put a lot of time into it. You go off of sports that I actually care about and follow. NFL, I don't like. Uh, basketball, I don't really care for. Well, Juggles has clued me in on the fact that um, you rather enjoy playing the uh, NCAA football games. No, we're not going to that. <laughs> <laughs> Story time. The dumbest. <laughs> No. At some point, we'll, we'll, if I can figure it out, I'll find the we'll call that. Of the we'll call that the no, the no punting league. Yeah. <laughs> beat somebody, you have double the yards of them and everything, and they still beat you because they go for six fourth down conversions and four fourth or four two point conversions. So, long story short, guys, Josh is upset with Juggles because Juggles. I'm not upset him. with Juggles. No, not me. Oh, was it you? Was it? Okay. Well, okay, the guy, yeah, so, all right, so he played the game better than you. Is all, is all I'm hearing. It's all I'm hearing. If he went, to, if he went, I play the game like I'm playing in real life, and that maybe that's not the right way to do it. Play the but, game to win. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna turn in, kind of I'm gonna turn into Herm Edwards on you. You play to win. <laughs> Look, if you could do a sweep in Mortal Kombat, you do the sweep in Mortal Kombat. Exactly. That's just the way it is. That's, you hit but the I'm same button. Anyway, it was NCA. What was it? Thirteen. I think uh, that was 14, 14 was 14. the last one they made. 14? Yeah. 14. I think it was 13. Because was... Carlos Hyde was the running back for Ohio State, which I'm, a, I'm from Ohio. <laughs> he was on the cover. And Hyde was the running back. And I could plow over anybody with Carlos Hyde. And I think I had like 300 some rushing yards with Hyde in that game. Should have should, used him on fourth down. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I didn't have to make fourth downs. It just, yeah. I think I th should have put him I in on I, defense. <laughs> I think I had three or four interceptions in the first half against this guy. And then in the second half, when we decided to go for all the fourth, fourth down conversions and the two point conversions like this. What player anyway, was it again? Losing by a field goal. What player was it again? Was good with. Yeah. Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde steps back for the pass. Carlos Hyde throws the ball. Carlos right Hyde back. caught the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Touchdown, Carlos Hyde. Pulling a Marcus, pulling a Marcus Mariota. Still the only guy I've ever seen to throw a touchdown pass to himself. And it's still hey, impressive. I don't care. We'll do what you gotta do. But yeah. No, that so so so, so back anymore. to the Dillas, you you like golf, right? I like oh. golf, yep. Yeah. we went over that last week. I golf in real life, so that's that's one of my favorite things. Is that to what do. you call it? Now that you bring that up, Josh, I have a non game video game golf question. 
for you. Okay. I bought a pair of golf shorts yesterday, a pair of Under Armour golf shorts. <laughs> What the fuck? Just because I needed a pair, of sh- a nice pair of shorts, and they were they were really light and comfortable. I'm already, I'm already confused by this. Why? Okay. Why are the pockets stitched closed? Because you bought women's. They were men's. <laughs> no, they were men's. They were absolutely oh. men's. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. That's the. Never that's bought a pair of all shorts that have the. They were absolutely men's, with the back pocket, like the side pockets are open, but the back pockets are there. They have pockets in them, but just the top, they're they're stitched like three quarters of the way shut hey, on top. Do the back have... do the back pockets have like designs stitched into them? No, it's literally just. Are you sure? Yeah, it's literally oh. just it just it's oh, like I'm stitching about that long on top of it. I, I like I I tried them on when I got home because you know there was no fitting room, so I was like, all right, I'll, I'll take them back if they don't if they don't fit. And like I went to put my wallet in the back pocket, and I was like, what the fuck. And look, and like they're literally <laughs> stitched shut. I'm like, what the hell is this? Is this a golf thing? I don't know if that. No, it's everybody it's, has clothes that they wear. Like you find a brand that fits you, and you yeah. continue to buy them. Like, These are Under Armour. With me, <coughs> yeah, well, with with me in golf the shirts, I wear Under Armour polos. A lot of pants are and shorts are Adidas. Where the and pockets? Those, I, the pockets are deep enough. I can fit. I mean, I've got a full size. <laughs> Well, like that big that had yeah. put my checkbook and everything in, and it fits in those, but it's not stitched clothes or anything. You old mother Chad, man. were were the were the pockets on yours? Were they three tampons wide? <laughs> Probably about <laughs> four to five, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it when you said pocket stitched. I apologize. I, I, women's fucking clothes. I just I just want to apologize to the viewers because Hillbilly's sense of humor is stuck back in the fifties where he graduated high school. So, <laughs> 50 I assure really. you, I assure you, he actually oh, thinks these jokes are funny. Gets, somebody gets uh. points. 15 <laughs> points in chat. Oh, nowhere. Nobody else has gotten any points. I no, like, I got, it was the strangest damn thing. I was like, why in the hell would they stitch? I don't know if I got a pair that somebody, like, fucked I up on like them. I feel like you should get a bunch of points for the, because you bought women's shorts. If you see this on YouTube and you know the here. answer, that was pretty leave good. it in the comments below. Good. Hell yeah. You like and subscribe. Yeah. Somebody yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know on the Under Armour because I don't wear Under Armour shorts, but that's a weird one. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe, I was like, maybe this is a golf you, thing. I need to ask Josh. Can you like cut them? I mean, I could, like, but stitch, like, I, I guess I could. You can cut in your actual pockets there? Yeah. Like, there actually are pockets. Like, it's got the, you know, just like your side pockets know, on the inside. For, maybe something for shipping or something. I don't, I don't know. It just or seems like they're. It's not like a little one, like a little one little stitch holding it together. Like it's a stitch that's like that wide. Yeah. I should show you this camera, but it's weird. I'm I'm trying to show you where your pain, where the pain is, where your picture is, <laughs> instead of looking so at the camera. Right, again, we're good, and you're straight <laughs> below yeah. me. I'm on the top left, and you're straight below me. So this is all screwed up again. <laughs> See, and that's why I'm mean. I'm in the top left, and you're below me. So I'm sitting there looking over here, mm-hmm. trying to have a conversation with you. <laughs> All right, so before we get too off track, Hillbilly. Yes. What do you like to play for video games? Oh, oh man, game. these days it's uh it's it's horror games. I'm playing on my own, I'm playing The Last of Us. Um I played it on Great PlayStation game. 4. Now, now I'm playing it on the PC. Um on PlayStation 4, I'm still playing uh, The Last of Us Part 2. But uh, it's ter- it's ter- absolutely terrifying game. Leave you um hearing clickers while you're laying in bed trying to get to sleep, it is an amazing, amazing game. It's well worth the money spent on uh, Steam to to play that one. But um, yeah, I, I I dig doing the horror horror with you with, you know with you guys. I I now i racing. I, I really don't I don't look at our i racing too much as a game as much as I do a, a sport for us. Even though it's online, it is on the computer. It's still uh, mm-hmm. we treat it very serious. So. I really don't count that. I, I but I, I enjoy doing that as well. So, but uh, no, it's it's horror games, man. Uh, first person shooters. I get on every now and then. I like to play the golf, but um, it's the horror games that get my blood pumping. Yeah, for sure. I'm with you on that. And I will say, to the viewers, if you don't want spoilers for season two of the show of Last The Last of Us, do not play The Last of Us two until after right. you watch the show because yeah. the storylines are very or, similar. Right. And, and one followed along very well as well. It's a good show. Very good show. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. The juggles. 
Ah. Be with us. Ah. Ah. He's been over there cu- cussing at his woman for the last 10 minutes. We can hear everything you say, <laughs> no, by the way. She's playing Mario Mike Party on Switch, and, and there are mini games she is not good at. So I do them most of the time. Oh, <laughs> oh. So I'm joking. I hear her excitement in the background. <laughs> at, at this particular moment, Juggles, what's your favorite type of game to play besides eye racing? What do you like? Besides sim racing, total. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's his favorite game. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pardon uh, us for a minute. Uh, well, we did our ducks in a row here. Oh, man. <laughs> so, listen, Linda. This might sound <laughs> odd, but if I'm honest, my favorite like genre of video game for the longest has been fighting games. And it's not even racing games. Racing games are just the most, mm, I don't want to say accessible because fighting games are also accessible, but the most, I guess, involved would be a good way to say that. So More immersive. Yeah, like iRacing, R-Factor 2, Race Room, Assetto Corsa, all of them, are, I, I enjoy playing all of them. Some of them I play more than others, obviously iRacing, but... The friend group that I had growing up, we played a lot of fighting games, and that was that's still been one of my favorite genres of games. You do UFC and stuff like that? No, not even UFC. Like UFC's cool. UFC games I, are impossible I, to play though. They're so out. they're so hard to play. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Um no games like the Tekken series or uh Soul Calibur series were the two that I grew up that I was like those are great. I'm bad at Mortal Kombat. I still play it, but I'm bad. Yeah. Um, so just like the two, like the two D one v one games. Finish him. Like Street Fi- like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and all that kind of I'm stuff. Horrible at Street Fighter. <laughs> I'm horrible at Mortal Kombat. The I just love Street Fighter. Soul Calibur, like the the three D big. I say big, like like circle map where you can move around the map, like in almost all directions, was what I got really big into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and then, like, I guess a close second to that would be the racing games, yeah. just because there are so many different varieties of them. Um, yeah, fighting games, definitely. Yeah. All right, that's a nice. that's a new one. That's different. Uh, Johnny, besides eye racing, oh, this will be quick. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's about nailed it. That's 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 about it. <laughs> well, we know he doesn't that's play that's console because he don't have a controller. So, bye, Juggles. All right, there he is. Well, He's back. Juggles. Hi, racing. See, Chad, what's your favorite at the moment? Um, my favorite at the moment is probably the horror games. The horror stuff. Uh, took a little break from it. Uh, we've been we've been, as you guys know, I mean, we've been playing more of it here lately. Um. You know, like I'll I'll co- I'll kind of co-sign on what uh, Hillbilly said. Like we we're not, you know, crazy and under any illusions that we're actually race car drivers when it comes to iRacing. We know that we're playing oh, a game. Oh shit! I'm a professional. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta be careful you want... saying you gotta be careful well, saying that because the, he... the iRacing champion that gets, you know, gets crowned every year for the Coca-Cola <laughs> iRacing series takes home a hundred grand plus the whole year's worth of race winnings that they earned. And oh yeah, that, uh, a NASCAR championship ring. So I mean, that's well, that career. that one, yes, but that's also but we're not there. That is a those guys are actually, in fact, and literally professional race car drivers. They are. They said they, they're racing in a, a, a virtual race car, but they are professionals. They are uh, they yes. are employed by teams to do yes. so. Well, they're, I think I think the mo- moment we started getting paid for a sponsorship, you kind of become professional at some point. Right? Well, some of us got started getting paid. I just started putting names on my okay. car. But, oh, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, like we, that's something like that. The way I've always approached um, the iRacing thing is just, um, it's no fun if you don't take it seriously. It's also no fun if you take it too seriously. Uh, so yeah. it's a balance you've got to find where like, I mean, all of us here, like in our, you know, some, you know, maybe not currently, but all at some point in time, since we've joined the league, like we put in time to practice for races, you know, we've, Dave and I battled it. Dave and I, me, Dave and Johnny battled it out for a championship right down to the wire my first year in the league. Uh, Dave and Hillbilly battled it uh, out 
down to the wire last year for the championship and the year before, I think. Um, Josh and Juggles have yet to compete for one. Um, <laughs> right. I was in the final four, asshole. Yeah, you and Juggles were with because, you. Hey, with uh, you. Can we true. bring that back up again, Dave? Uh, no, let's not. Let's Where did we forward. finish, Chad? <laughs> Behind the other two. Yeah, know, it's because I didn't. It's because I didn't pit on that caution. I was like, I'm gonna. I was like, I'm gonna stay out and try to buy my time, and there's gonna be another caution, and it went caution free to the end, and I got screwed. My only shot but, ever, <clears> probably <throat> winning a championship out the window at Chicago Land. Honestly, I was runner up three years in a row. I will that say, was my doing. Uh, I will admit it. That was my doing. But I will say, uh, I owe a share. I owe a share of my of my Xfinity Championship to Joshua because he was so bad mean? on an oh, Indy. God, I, self, I spun myself. He spun himself out Indy. with like ten laps to go. That gave me the opportunity to pit and catch up and get a couple more positions, and then end up beating Dave by what two points, Dave? Because yeah. Dave, Dave, conveni- we conveniently so ended up, bad. we conveniently yeah. ended up at Dave's favorite racetrack to finish the season. I I imagine how that works. Fucking where he's, you can make the schedule. No one got a pro for Speedway. It was in, it was Indy. Oh, that was that was his favorite. Yeah, he's beat me at Indy before too, coming out of turn. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> All right, my favorite Indy moment is I show up with like maybe ten minutes of practice throw down the fastest lap and the next thing I hear I'm just not going to fucking practice anymore <laughs> in the Xfinity cars it, yeah so but how did that work for you did you not sell spin off a of four and wreck in the infield wall and even my slow ass beat you we don't need to talk about that <laughs> <laughs> I didn't so, self spin I just spun so, it wasn't intentional I feel like self spin put some degree of intent on it Dave uh, what, what, what are your uh Right. What's your, what's no, your favorite genre right now, phase? At this moment, it's got to be horror. I think it's uh, right now my favorite game to play is Sign of Silence. Right now. You're welcome. Pretty wicked. Uh, only only yeah, for the fact wicked. that it's not only is it you know terrifying. It really is. Also, some strategy involved. Hey, wait! Am I the only one in the room like that's that escaped aspect. it twice? <laughs> I think so. Well, I mean, <laughs> you left us to die. Yeah. I just stepped inside the block. Well, all right, Dave, <laughs> Dave, you've got to take some responsibility for that one because we got to the top of the radio tower and you just started chucking flares like it was your job for no reason. And then we realized I mean, we had to get past the bad guy yeah, to get to the I, fucking helicopter I mean, and we had no yeah, flares I, left. So that, That's my bad. I, that's my bad. And, I, and then <laughs> Hillbilly gets on the fucking helicopter and just pieces out while me and Dave are getting killed by this fucking guy. I didn't know what I was well, doing. I was just staying on the inside of the square because I, the timer was on down. Dude. I figured the helicopter would fly over and we'd climb a rope and fucking escape. No one, I never thought I'd have to try, climb back down and go deal with that crazy bitch right. that's trying to kill us. Fucking wizard. Know, that we had to sneak past. So <laughs> it was that's a learning curve. That's my bad. I was sending a tweet. Curve. Yeah. Hey, I'm surprised he didn't say that. That's his, that's Dave's tagline. Yeah. Sorry. I was sending uh, right a tweet. Right now, yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, right now that's, that's probably my favorite game. All right. Uh, I'll, I'd like to propose a um, a topic, Dave, if I may. Sure. All right, so back to the iRacing thing. Uh-oh. We have all had races plucked from our grasp at the last second. What, what is your really, Chad, most really heartbreaking go down this road? Your most heartbreaking most loss heartbreaking. in iRacing. Chad, are you sure I, you want to do this one, Chad? Do I really do? Can you I? You and me are talking about the same race, Josh. So. <laughs> can I? Can I talk about multiple? Yeah, we can yeah talk I have about so many. One, I have you know? so many. One. Just, just try to try to try one. to figure out the worst. But if you want to talk about more than one, that's fine. The the worst one, that's a toss up. That's I'm looking Is at the, the truck series. These assholes right here in the center of my screen. <laughs> Who's in the center <laughs> of your screen? I don't know. I think I totally I brought this up to uh, to single out Hillbilly. By the teammate. way, <laughs> I don't I don't believe. The Josh incident cost me a championship. Did it? Uh, oh no! Wait, what? What was the Josh <laughs> incident? <laughs> At Indy, Josh, I, Chad, Chad went in Josh. with a huge. I think it actually almost worked out to your advantage more than Chad. If that if that caution had not happened, he would have won the championship. What? It? Because I had um, I had fucked up my my right rear quarter panel, so I had literally no security driving into the turn. So I was so slow, and I was running. I think I was actually running last, and I ended up getting two guys on the. There's no way you were running last. I was. Well, maybe I wasn't running last, but I was. I, I ended up. I ended up passing. I remember. I ended up passing three people on the on the restart, and Dave was like, "You beat me by two points." 
Mm -hmm. I didn't even know I was racing him. I thought I was still racing Johnny. I think the biggest iRacing one that aggravated me more than anything, and Josh remembers this, we were running Gateway. Oh, Oh, come on. Yes, it was Gateway. Gateway, (laughs) I led the entire race. That's a good topic. I had about a 14-second lead at one point. The caution comes out. I take off again, got another caution, come to the restart, now, part of it's on me. I fucked up. I restarted in third instead of second. Gave the lead to you know who, Mr. Kyle, Kyle Martin. Martin. Kyle Martin. Who at that particular time was not a very well liked person within the league. Him uh, and Johnny were good buddies. They still so, get lunch every once in a while. So, <laughs> Kyle's his dad. Yeah. Kyle. So, Kyle, Kyle takes the lead from me. Caution comes back out. I said, okay, it's my shot. I knew I was the fastest truck there. We come around to the two to go, and all of a sudden the session ran out of time. I didn't think finished. it was going to take finished, two and a half fucking hours to finish. Let him finish, finish, Josh. Under yellow. We finish under yellow, and Kyle Martin wins the race. Once again, Josh won't let you finish. <laughs> that, that I think is that's more. That's more than what Hillbilly that, did to you. That last hurt year. my heart more than anything else that ever happened. Because you know how most people felt about that particular driver at that time. This is true. So, so to clear up any confusion that our viewers may have here, in iRacing, when we do league races, administrator of the league or the owner of the league at that time sets up the session, and they have to set it up for a certain time allotment. So in this particular race, this was our truck series, which is run by none other than our own Joshua Hedrick. And it's not anymore. <laughs> it's it not anymore, but it was at the time. And yes. Josh, uh, kind of short, so short of three hour session. And the race took much longer practice. than we thought it would. And so Dave, who had, a, who would have had a chance to get back around Kyle and win that race. Um, the session ran out of time and ended the race before he had a chance to get back up there. <laughs> so basically it's the eye racing version of a rain out. I- I don't think I've ever been pit- so pissed at myself and someone else <laughs> at the same time as I was that night. So, yeah. You can't, uh, yeah. can't put that all on me. I mean, so. You can't put yeah. that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to, you know, bring up some stories and stuff, but we are running low on time. Yeah. New Hampshire in the Gen 6 cars. I thought it would be Richmond in the Gen 6 cars. No, Johnny put me in a fucking wall. <laughs> At the line. At the line, yeah. There, I wasn't getting past him in the first one, but I needed an extra lap. And when he says, you know, was, guys, when he says, folks, when he says he, that Johnny put him in the wall, I mean, Johnny was to his left, and Johnny's wheel was turned 90 degrees to the right. Like, yeah, it fucking was. Like, Richmond wasn't that bad. Richmond, I was like, I was fighting the car most of the night. So when I found a line I could use to move forward, I was like, oh, fucking cool. Um, and just caution still, right? <laughs> no, New Hampshire, I qualified. I think there was 12 of us in the race, and I was like 10 or 9. Took me out on the, first, on the right. second lap. I didn't do shit. <laughs> I don't remember what happened. Anyways, <laughs> oh, he didn't do shit. Then he doesn't remember no, what no, happened. No, 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 no. I didn't hit you. You and I both got loose. You got more loose than I did, and nobody threw a caution. I wouldn't have got loose if you hadn't been there. Your fault. That was oh, the shit. race. That was the race in which you. Um, <laughs> that was the I drove race to where the front, like where you uh, where you uh, you self spun from the lead a couple times too, right? Yes, I think I spun yeah. once or twice. That you whole, did it, and then somebody else did it from the lead as well, because I was running third for a long time. That whole race there. was basically you and McQuaid, if I remember correctly. And McQuaid ended up winning it. I mean, I was I was fighting McQuaid most of the race, but I, I drove from the back of the group, but from the back of the field to the front. Like, I, I don't know how I did it. I was like, cool, I like this car here. And then I just, there was a little, like a, a late race caution that I think threw us into an overtime. And I just overcooked the corner entry into either one or three because I think Patrick had an extra lap of running and I just I couldn't get back past him. That one, feel like that hurt. I have it up. I feel like I need to share this just so everybody can understand what. Oh, I'm sure it's the picture of me turning him. No, we haven't gotten okay. to that one yet. This is Juggles and Johnny at Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Johnny is in the well, double zero, is. and Juggles is in the 79 for those watching. Well, you, you can see how well iRacing's upgraded since this photo, though. That looks pretty yeah. terrible. Uh, no, that's just Johnny's wow. car. Wow. <laughs> so. What happens when you hit everything in sight? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could talk about good yep. finishes on another on another podcast there. Yeah, so bad finishes. And... Just just an an update since we're coming to a close here. Um, I have been tallying some points. Uh -oh. By the way, you may not have known. Um, Being quiet about the points. But today's today's uh jack oh jackass jack -ass. of the night jackass it, it goes to Joshua. Jack -ass. Yeah. Oh. The upset. Oh, I'm not sure that's an upset. <laughs> is it? <laughs> so I like that. Yeah, so uh, we'll 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 get you a trophy or something. <laughs> Finally, a, I get a trophy. It's about time he got a trophy for something. I mean, he deserves something after all. Send him days. a fart in a sandwich bag. Oh God! <laughs> I'm still waiting for a cookie from Johnny. He's, send him a bronze donkey. It's been three years. We still don't have a cookie. So, boys, it's been fun. An hour goes awfully quick. Um, so. yeah, I think people are going to have to get over the length of them. Yeah, yeah. it's what, uh, it's what yeah. I try to tell her, we'll but try she didn't to... leave it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's been fun. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do this again in a, in a week. So, you all have a good night. Mm -hmm. Bye, Bye folks. Talk, talk to you all, you jackasses, real soon. Uh, Cheers. Have a good night, fellas.